Hello and welcome to my channel. This is So Oracle here. Now, today's topic is what are your soul qualities and character? What is your spiritual self really like? Whether you were doubting it or just want a confirmation, this is the place to get it. Now we have three piles, three groups. And by the way, I did shuffle them just today just to clarify and we have the crescent moon the dream catcher and the unicorn and hold on let me just arrange this and the rainbow so <sighs> breathe in take a moment and focus on which one you resonate with the most you may choose more than one pile uh, but trust your intuition please also you may choose just from the cards whichever pile calls to you or the timestamps below the numbers and all that jazz now i'll be showing you a closer look up to the actual necklaces and hopefully you can hear me well because i'm Recording with this mic and <laughs> filming with another thing and okay, just making sure everything's good. Okay, so this is the crescent moon, hold on. This is the crescent moon. Hopefully you can see it. Wait, nope. <laughs> there we go. There, there we go. This is the dream catcher. And the last one is the unicorn and the rainbow. Okay, so now choose your pile. Welcome pile number one, you chose the crescent moon. We're gonna spread out the first half and then I will do the other half just because my table is so small. So, pile number one, what are your soul qualities, your soul character, what is it? Let's find out. Uh, the first thing that I'm getting is that you're very intuitive in that you should always trust the niggle. What is the niggling feeling trying to tell you? So I feel like in this moment, you may be questioning yourself a lot, but if you just took a breath and relaxed and listened to the inner feeling, to your intuition, which is very powerful, I'm sure, you will get the answer you are seeking for. I feel like you're also very trustworthy, so intuitive, trustworthy. Then we have soul family calling your tribe. You don't have to do it alone. So you may have or you may want to have a soul family, a soul tribe, somebody that you can share your thoughts with and just be able to express yourself without anyone judging you or just looking at you weird. 
I feel like you are quite unique and intelligent, as we can see from the connotation of uh, the image of the whales and dolphins. Whales have a very unique frequency, only they can hear. And then, uh, oh, the dolphins, have, they are very intelligent. Like they communicate as like through their minds. They're psychics, <laughs> basically. They don't need to use words or even even sounds. But you do they, they do send <laughs> they do send sound waves. So I feel like you may be psychic and have a very unique frequency, like a very high vibration. I see. I also saw the word high priestess, which I don't have on the table, but it just came in. So I feel like you may be a high priestess. I feel like you have psychic psychic abilities and you are you work quite well when you find your soul tribe or i don't know soulmate or me you may want to find a soulmate then we have empathic star seed energetic sovereignty absorbing what's not yours as an empath we all know that we're absorbing the energy and feelings and emotions of others, even though we may not want to. So I feel like when we when we ground ourselves and we stay grounded, we achieve this uh, royalty, this sovereignty, this power. And I know it's not easy, but I think you're able to just choose to not absorb or sit around any people that don't want your well-being or they or that don't serve you or your life and with the mirror and the girl in in the universe ocean i feel that you're able to look at to look at yourself to look right in your own eyes and call yourself out on anything like you're able to go within and truly just bring out whatever you need to bring as in you're truly truly gifted maybe you're good at doing um journaling shadow work and you're like able to bring this clarity into your life which i think is really amazing then you have star family you're part of a team of souls call in support so whenever you feel like it's really hard and you feel that people don't understand you, call in your soul family, your star family. As in, we come from a cluster of souls. And as that big cluster of soul kind of goes on their own journey, I feel that you're all connected. You, you all go and live your own life, your own mission and all that. But I feel like the power you all hold individually and as one since we're part of oneness is quite immense i feel like it's magical like like a unicorn then we have full moon in libra find a balance i feel like you're able to balance your emotions and feelings and if not i feel like you're learning to do that like your soul is calling you to find balance and kind of get connect with the energy of source and even the full moon and embrace the beauty of nature i feel you're gonna become like really good at balancing or you may already be really good at balancing then you have mother rose returning to each other compassion humanity i feel like you're very graceful and gentle and you have this sensitive but powerful aura to you and it's like you look like a rose you have this energy of a rose even though you might have spikes not spikes thorns <laughs> and you might not always show uh your true self to others i feel like your thorns are protecting you but at the same time you are this beautiful rose with morning dew on it and it's like you're really you are really a beautiful person and then we have morning dew clarity a first start a positive outlook again there's this femininity and gentleness and just like a mother figure i feel like you might be a mother in that sense like you might have a baby and i feel like even though you think you're not doing well you're doing amazing you're 
a very good mama, just in case you need to hear that. And you're able to handle everything with such grace, even if you get <laughs> some BS from your family or even husband, I feel like you're just this work of art, this amazing, powerful woman. And even if you don't have children, it's the same. You are just full of so much grace, so much femininity. And I feel like this pile is mainly, mainly females, but at the same time, there are a few males, I guess. Well, whoever's going to watch it. Um, so I feel like you have this vision of who you want to be. And that's really powerful. Like you don't let people tell you who you're meant to be as a woman and what to do with a, with your body or uh, with your personality. You adapt and change as you feel you need to. And that's absolutely amazing. Okay, so let's pull out the other cards to, to find out more. Okay, so I feel like you're wise beyond your ears. We have the eyes of the ego rising above the fray. So I feel like you have this vision and like you see people for exactly who they are. You see their energy right away. It's like you get close to the smallest detail and you can sniff them out right away and you, you have this ability to see things from a high point of view and to let yourself fly high. And I feel like you're able to rise above anything, which is really powerful. Then we have loyal heart. I don't know, I got kind of a Leo energy, so you might be really loyal. You might be a Leo. And... <laughs> You may be really kind and just thoughtful and encouraging and supportive. And I feel like it's like, see here. We have the queen owl and the king owl. So like king and queen energy. I feel that you have balanced both masculine and feminine energy like yin and yang. And you'll... Your loyal heart has no boundaries. You just love with absolute purity. And you're like such a loving being. I absolutely love that. And then we have meditation, peace, relief, sanctuary. Maybe you like to meditate and there are, and there are more ways in which you found that you can meditate. And you feel at peace and you feel the relief. And it feels like when you're inside your home and meditating or going out into nature, it feels like a meditation in itself. I feel like the divine feminine <laughs> comes out and you're just able to yeah, see from a, a higher point of view and truly love like from... A, a place of pure love then we have oh there we go <laughs> oh i feel like okay since the camera shook <laughs> i feel like you may you may shock a few people <laughs> with your amazingness I feel like you may shock a lot of people with the work that you do and they're wondering all the time, like, how does she do that? 
or how does he do that? Because it's for everyone. But yeah, I feel like, okay, so we have clarity in carrot. We have the Virgo sign in one. So I feel like you're able to rip any harvest that you planted. I feel like this is like wishes coming true. Like you're able to manifest really fast and it's kind of like scary sometimes. And then we have the third eye here in the triangle. Okay, so you might, your third eye might be really powerful. And now that you see that, you're like, oh, I'm, I've awakened and I'm able to get all this abundance in and it's like really amazing, it's like really shocking to you. You could be born in September, August. So you could be a Virgo, okay? Then we have uh, Scorpio. So we have divination. Actually, you might as well be psychic or who knows, you may be a tarot reader or you like maybe scrying. That is using the pendulum and a crystal ball. So you see information so easily from anything you work with. So I feel like you might be a witch. Okay. Or a healer, something to do with herbs. You like, maybe you like planting or what's the word oh my god you're a star anyway i feel like not farmer i'm not I'm, i can't find the word right now but i feel like anything you plant grows really beautifully and you're able to so no you're able to <laughs> to sow what you reap no to reap what you saw there we go i'm twisting my words okay and then we have marguerite marguerite porridge i don't know if i'm pronouncing it right marguerite porridge uh -huh. yeah okay uh, let's not try that again. <laughs> love is divine. And I am nothing except love. So like, like I told you before, you are that divine feminine love and that pure, <laughs> pure, pure loyalty and love and the mystic of the divine love. I feel like some of you may be a matchmaker or you may be the matchmaker of your family and friends and you may guide people or you could be a counselor a psychologist that helps so many people with this divine feminine like the guidance of the divine feminine energy i feel like it's really strong here hmm yeah like you have very powerful cards that came in and i really like that okay so, just before I'm going to go and do the other piles, I want to pull out some self-care cards and a few mini, mini cards. Okay, let me just sort myself out. Okay, let us get a card for pile one, if I can do this. <laughs> okay, there we go. So, release your expectations and be open to surprise. So I feel like you do a lot of things yourself. Hold on. You, 
you do a lot of things by yourself and you should let yourself be surprised i know that you're a very powerful divine feminine but i feel like whenever help is offered to you stop questioning it stop questioning it and receive the surprise that is meant for you because it's from the universe and whoever and through whoever it comes through right i feel that you should let yourself be surprised you should let yourself have whatever you want to have because it's really beautiful okay for the last part for pile number one i'll be having a few mini cards with some messages Let's start with the Starseed one since you got the Starseed card <laughs> earlier in the reading. Okay. Oh dear. Oh my god. <laughs> Hold on while I pick my stuff up. <laughs> I wanted to swear, but. Yeah, I don't know what this channel is going to be about. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> oh dear. Where is it? Oh. Oh my god. Girl, your cards flew everywhere. I mean, boy, girl. <laughs> Oh, wow. Okay, so hold on. Let's see. So we have meditation. <sighs> Take a moment to connect to source through quiet reflective meditation. So you got the meditation card earlier. And I feel like you really need meditation right now, girl. Boy. <laughs> Seriously, go meditate however you please. So just even by cooking something you really like, even by singing, by dancing, by going out and doing something, it's meditation, honey. Honey, where did that come from? <laughs> Maybe you like honey. Maybe you like bees. Maybe you like yellow. Okay. Okay, so you have Earth Guide. Your sacred calling upon this planet is to simply love and be loved. Like I said, it was very powerful that you have this very loving energy and just pure. You like come from this pure place of love, the divine femininity and. Earth guide, a star seed. You're here to guide people. Yeah. I mean, is that confirms what I just read before and showed you. Then we have abundance. Sorry if I'm pausing, but I'm like, my setup is weird and i have to like see if it's focusing and then see if i can hear myself in the mic anyway abundance when your heart's intention is to serve humanity doors of abundance naturally open so like i said you reap what you saw you create this abundance for yourself you plant these seeds and then they grow and you you manifest everything that you want you get this abundance so it, it comes naturally to you. You're like this magical unicorn being. Hold on, girl. I'm getting my cards. <laughs> oh, this is going on <laughs> way longer than I thought it would. But uh, hopefully you have the patience to stay here and like watch it. Okay, we have the fairy dust mini cards. Okay, 
No, that's enough, I guess. I don't want to hold you any longer. Okay, so. We have travel and practice. So after a while, dance on air, practice makes perfect, you're almost there. So like, remember when I said balancing things, like you're good at balancing thing? I feel like when you practice that, at balancing anything, you will get there. And then we have travel. Of all the things you can do, travel is on the cards for you. So like, this may be a surprise, like the surprise self-care card I got you. Um, I feel like, well, look, there is just empty. <laughs> I feel like you should, let you, you should let yourself have the surprise and just enjoy it. Like, really, you deserve it, so... I don't know why I keep wanting to say mama. Like, is your child calling you? Or like, somebody like pulling you like, hey, mama, I want to go. Um, anyway, so, uh, where is the other one? Oh, here it was. Okay, this is the last one, I promise. Oh dear, look. These are the Wishcraft uh, mini cards. The magic starts here. Okay. Okay, so first one we have, I focus my energy. The magic wand. And then we have, from tiny things, big things can grow. Yeah, so I think, like I said, when you're manifesting, you focus energy on one thing or on many things, but like make sure that your energy is not split and that when you ask for something, make sure you ask for the smallest micro detail that you can because the universe will manifest literally anything. I promise you. And then we have from tiny things, big things can grow. <laughs> Again, the <laughs> confirmation of... You reap what you saw, the abundance. I feel like you're going to receive all these things. But I feel like your soul knows that you can do all these things. So just trust their intuition. Okay, so pile one. This was fun and thank you so much for being here. We're going to move on. I think I've held you long enough. My God. <laughs> and okay. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe, like, share. It helps new channels grow like this one. Okay. And uh, if you're not going to stay here until the end, I will put some links in. <laughs> I will put some links in the description below in case you want to donate or help me somehow fund my life <laughs> anyway okay good uh thank you and bye bye pile number two welcome you chose the the dream catcher you must be dreamers or like you like to protect your dreams and you feel like you must you must protect your dreams. I feel like you might be artistic.
could be into art, music, I don't know, building, buildings, uh, architecture, anything like that. Or as in your soul has these characteristics that it came from all over the place, like your soul learned all these skills and talents and now you have them in this life as well. So I feel like if you have, you like to build or use your hands or or be built, I hear. So I feel like, especially, hold on. Oh, there we go, moved again. My bad. <laughs> so the crumbling. I feel like hold on. I feel like you have the ability to rebuild. Get up and rebuild. Like you're not afraid when something completely falls apart you either take a rest take a break and you come back and you rebuild that strong foundation also the crumbling also it's it feels like a card that says it's like the tower moment but at the same time it's like all this fell but beyond this door I rebuild and whatever I did, <laughs> it's very successful. So I feel like you might be very successful people as well, like money, finances, like you're good with these things. Like these are <laughs> like the qualities that you have, you're able to keep your money, invest them and make really good investments and decisions in your life. Then we have perspective. None of this matters. Zoom out. Common ground. Mm. It feels like in pile one. They also have something about perspective. So, I don't know. Maybe you watched pile one or you may want to watch pile one. But I feel like the perspective card kind of emphasizes that you've come from not low not <laughs> you come from the very bottom like very far like you've come very far to be where you are today and I feel like you're able to maintain and keep and keep that um that mentality, like, you're strong, like, you have strength and, and resilience and you're determined to do whatever you need to do. And, like, I feel like if you do art or any type of, I don't know, let's say photography, uh, music, I don't know why I heard swimming, uh, you're like, you don't give up. That's one of your qualities. And I don't know if you're stubborn or there's some sort of stubbornness here that is very useful it's like you don't give up and it works out in the end for you i feel then we have the wasteland sustainability slow down tend to your garden so i feel like you have to do some self-care here like seriously drink some water uh eat something maybe you're not eating well or drinking well uh i wouldn't say over drink like don't drink too much if you're not thirsty but like if you're thirsty drink please and eat so like even when you break down and you have all these cracks around you like <laughs> you may be broke down and you have all these cracks inside of you in your heart and soul you need to take a moment and maybe meditate, pray, and actually slow down, like, really. But I feel like 
your soul already has this quality. You just need to embody that. I feel like this is one of the things that will come towards you. Like This is the quality that is there already, but you need to recognize that, I feel. Then we have healing is happening. You're not broken. Trust the process. It's safe to soften. Oh, this feels really sad. It's like you feel like your mind is broken, like your emotions are broken, like you yourself are completely broken. It feels like nothing may wor work out the way you want it to, but I feel that you are doing <laughs> the job of a queen, of a king. You have the crown chakra activation and powerful empress energy I feel like you're connected to a group of people or you may have a business online or you want to build a business online and one of the qualities and the, <laughs> the spiritual character of that is that you're willing to work together with others and you're willing to build I keep hearing strong foundation building bricks maybe building houses or what else building technology I feel you may be an electrical engineer and you may have quite the talent I feel like you could build <laughs> a whole industry right so okay then we have yes just say yes so I feel like here um we not we we okay I feel like you always say we 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 like you're a team player that's a really good quality like Okay, you may have three people in your life that are really supportive, don't judge you and actually encourage you to build and to raise yourself up from any sort of emotional damage. Like really strong people, maybe your parents, actually someone's sister I right hear. You may have a very strong male energy so i feel like that's why i need to take a break like <laughs> enough is enough you don't need to do uh how do i put this a men's job and that's not to offend any women it's that it's just that a lot of men have a hairy have hairy great okay hairy men um uh, a lot of men have really hard jobs that honestly I wouldn't be able to do them so I appreciate them for that but I feel like even if you are a woman you do very hard jobs that maybe you shouldn't be doing and you should really take care of, of your body and mind but I feel like you're really resilient but one quality that I feel that your soul wants to kind of open up to you is that of slowing down and resting and really viewing yourself as enough and worthy and you are deserving and worthy and enough so i feel like one of those qualities coming to you then we have full moon in leo go wild so i feel like your soul knows it's not just about work 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 but actually <laughs> going on going uh in the wild and roaring like a lion <laughs> maybe you need to party maybe you need to yeah maybe you need to really slow down and go to a party go to a family gathering i feel like your soul is asking you to <laughs> to rest a lot okay
feel like you're wondering so like you always ask why what is the meaning of this what is the meaning of life what is that or how does it work like you're interested in knowing how to and why and i feel like that's part of one of your soul quality qu- one of your soul qualities <laughs> see there i'm uh, I keep stuttering, but that's okay. Uh, and I feel like knowledge is power to you. Knowledge and education is something that you want to have as a quality. Like you want to be smart and intelligent. And you would like to stop being fooled by people. Like, or you're not fooled by people. With the Leo card that we had, Leo is no fool, and I believe that Leo is a king, queen energy, like empress, emperor energy. The lion is the the king of the jungle. Also, if I didn't mention, uh, you may be a Leo, you may have the signs in your in your uh, astrology somewhere with Leo. Then we have cleansing and Gemini, and then we have wholeness in Aquarius. I feel like you need to clean your space and your energy and emotions and your soul. Like it's like when you do a spring cleaning, the soul needs that, or you're really good at cleaning and you like to clean. You keep cleaning nonstop. And I feel that many people consider that a quality because <laughs> there are people who don't. And I feel like cleaning on blocks, on clogs, anything, not just emotionally, but also energetically. So I feel like maybe you know how to really cleanse yourself in your mind and body. Then we have wholeness. Being fully happy, I feel that is very important to you. Like being whole. Just feeling life to the fullest. Just, Or maybe you need a change of scenery. You want to go somewhere with nature or with... I see fruit. Uh, well, not just this black mulberry, but like... All sorts of fruit. Like... You may want to go to the countryside and spend at least a week there to kind of like reconnect with your soul. That's what I'm hearing anyway. um, Okay, so we have spirit of spring, freedom, action, power. Interesting. (laughs) I just mentioned uh, before that spring cleaning is important (laughs) for you (laughs) or cleaning. Uh, So freedom, action, and power. You're empowered to know and to create so that you may treat the earth and its inhabitants better. No, just you want to to treat it with kindness as you would treat yourself. I feel like you might be some type of biologist, some type of job that works with the knowledge of animals nature the biology of it and like the biology of the universe i know it sounds strange um could be physics could be psychotherapy okay well i heard that i feel like sound helps you heal or you may sing you may do um meditation you may record meditations and put them out there i feel you heal many people with that or you just heal many people with your voice you may have a voice that is really unique and healing and that that is what you want to see and share then we have drifter experiencing life as it comes uh i feel that hold on i'm trying to gather my thoughts life as it comes so basically your soul is showing you the way to relax and chill (laughs) 
experiencing life every day as you should. Then we have Mirabai, the saint of true freedom. Love is what sets me free. I am married to my own soul. I feel like also together with lion energy that you love your freedom and you love to be free and you do not appreciate people who try to hold you back. And again, that divine love is inside of you and one of one of the qualities you may embody or may want to have is that pure divine love. Like you may be looking for it. You may be drifting into those kind of thoughts like, oh, I I want pure love or those sorts of things. I am married to my own soul. Right. Well, you know what? You need to be married to yourself first <laughs> so that you may experience uh, another giving you what you deserve, I feel. Yeah. Okay, let me pull a few mini cards and then I'll move on. <laughs> Let's get you, hold on, behind the scenes. A self-care message. Okay, there we go. Can you can you see that? Whoop. Hold on. So <laughs> On the image it says calm beauty love kindness joy hope fun adventure invitation you may be invited somewhere to some sort of event that you may have your work exposed if you're a photographer or maybe musician or some sort of that type of job Okay, so the words you speak are an invitation to life, a request to bring energy into form. Choose your words carefully. You manifest. So I feel like you might be, your words manifest anything really fast. So one of the qualities you may have as a soul is that you get what you want and you manifest really fast. But if someone invites you somewhere, you may want to say yes, but make sure it's with someone who really appreciates you and they're a pleasure to be around. Okay. I'll pull some mini cards now. I'll be... Oh, look from the wish oh there we go it fell again fell deep okay so I am grounded in creative hence uh, of what I said before, that you're an artist. Magical rocks. You may like crystals. Or like, you may just collect rocks. Crystals, rocks. Or you're just fascinated by them. Then we have the unicorn. How lucky are you? I share my world with animals which have all kinds of strengths. Once again, I share my world with animals which have all kinds of strengths. So you may be a magical unicorn and you're <laughs> 
very magical. You are a magical soul. You have magical powers. Did I say in the spoil that you're a witch? I don't know. You may be. Or just a sparkly unicorn. I love unicorns, don't you? <laughs> okay, next, star seeds. Let's see. So you have free spirit. To be a free spirit is to float without balls, to fly without judgment, and to love without conditions. You may be a free spirit. You may want to, to travel more or drift to more freedom. Maybe you put emphasis on wanting to have this kind of freedom. Maybe the freedom of financial abundance. Then we have inner alchemy. Inner alchemy is achieved when you react to fear with love. So as a soul quality, I feel like maybe it hasn't come up yet, but you're meant to be an alchemizer, a, a transmuter, someone that takes all their dark shadows and transform them and alchemize them into into something that they can use i mean it's not wrong or right to have shadows it's more like how willing are you to love them so that they become an so so that they become an asset i feel like you know maybe you you like chemistry and you like to experiment with that or with the spiritual part and be a free spirit and not being told what to do by anyone. Then we have the fairy dust. One fell on the ground, great. <laughs> I'm just trying to, f <laughs> to not hold you too long. So we have portals. Where do we play? In nature, that's where the garden gate will take you there. Like I said, <laughs> you may need to go to the nature to uh, <laughs> the nature side. <laughs> I've been trying to speak this whole video and it's not working very well for me. Um, you may want to go to the countryside, to the nature, to experience freedom and to just relax again. <laughs> the message is a lake. Just go, relax, please. It was blurry, great. Then we have rainbows. In our forest, no trees debate. Rainbows stand with love, not hate. So, view the world with love. Don't get into conflicts and don't try and understand people who have no sense, no logic, no emotional maturity. I mean, you may understand why, but I don't think it's where to go after a pot of unicorn poop well actually that would sound better it's not it's not worth it to go after a pile of poop instead of going after a rainbow you know kind of like that okay so this is it for pile two thank you for being here for being patient with me as i stumble upon my words and if you're not going to be here until the end please uh like share subscribe because it helps new channels like this grow literally 
it would mean the world. Um, also, if you would like somehow to help, I, I will put some links down below with um, go find me a uh, go fund me page and a PayPal. Literally anything you want to donate is like paying paying forward any kindness like literally buying a friend a bottle of water a snack a meal and yeah okay thank you and bye pile number three welcome you have the unicorn necklace with a rainbow you may like magic shows or you may you may like mm, like the magical feeling when children watch cartoons or like you like drawing unicorns or rainbows or you may like color in general but I feel like one of the qualities of the soul is being able to be playful like a child and not be way too serious just like embracing this inner child being and just allowing yourself to feel to feel free and good and i don't know why i heard romance well whatever is in your life i feel it's all magical let's spread these out Okay, you know what? You may be my Capricorn pile, huh? Full morning Capricorn, take a reality check. Okay. We have the grandmothers remember your roots, perspectives, trust the weavings. Then we have come to me, attracting like a rose, receive abundance, desires. I feel like you're able to receive really easily, especially when it comes to gifts. You're just like, come to mama, give me. <laughs> then with the grandmothers, you may have a lot of grandmothers or just a lot of women in your family that support you. And I feel like one of the qualities of your soul is that you're able to bond with any type of woman. Of woman. Yeah. You're able to bond with a large group of women or... You're somebody that does charity work for women or does some sort of mental health for women. You're like out there to support all women to make sure they have everything they need. You're like, you're strong and kind and you just want to be there for them. You want to be protective like a grandmother is like you want to feed people you may donate money or choose to feed people if you don't donate money also like i think you're really down to earth with the full moon in capricorn take your reality check i feel that you are able to keep yourself in check your mind your actions like you're a very dedicated and very organized person, like meticulous, that's what I heard. Wow, <laughs> nice, like very straightforward person. And I feel that's one of, of the qualities of the soul, like the soul doesn't mess around with anyone. And you're just able to express whatever you feel. Although in a diplomatic way, you still tell your truth, I feel. Like it's a very open type of energy from this pile. Okay. Then we have the cosmic heart, devotion, potency, make your life a moving prayer. So like I said, you may devote your life to helping people or even working in a hospital, I heard, or just... Wanting to protect women in general. This is for both female and male. I feel like you live your life 
as a priest would pray, with intention, with care, with gentleness, and there's a lot of power in your words and in what you do. I feel like you're really appreciated by the group you're in, or you are, I heard sister, brother, aunt, just like very few people that are close to you, but like they really appreciate you and because you have all those qualities that they admire and they wish they embody as well. I feel like you're an example, like your soul is an example for other souls to step up and to upgrade, like embody this type of powerful, strong, determined energy. Then we have pillar of light. Your vibration, your vibration is rising. You are the oracle. You, since I say vibrations, because I keep stumbling on my words, I feel that you raise the vibrations of the earth and of the people around you. You are one of the pillars of light on this planet. I feel like you may be sent on this planet to to help to set an example to really you may work in law as well like not just in law but like a law figure i don't know like fireman police lawyer there's like the quality of justice justice is served something like that and also i feel that you worked really hard to be where you are and that your vibration is rising fully like like a fire like a phoenix and you are the oracle it's like you're this being of light that has a different type of power not necessarily psychic but like like a truly admirable and honorable power on earth as a human. You may be like a, um, I don't know, someone in power with power, in a position of power, and you have the qualities needed to do this job that you're at, like a leader. Then we have awakening, energetic upgrades, a new way of being, integration. I feel like like all of us right now here going through these ascension waves, ascension energies, and just, damn, you're like a general, like someone from the army, like a powerful transformation is right now, like literally you're upgrading, glowing up, leveling up like Pikachu, you know, like... <laughs> Very powerful energetic upgrades. And I hear there will be more coming your way. Like quite a few events and maybe challenges, but don't take them as challenges. It will really transform you and give you, I hear the qualities that you've wished for a long time. Like maybe you pray for, maybe you wrote them somewhere, maybe you wish them, you wanted to manifest and so on. Like, you're floating right now. Your quality is that you're learning to fly. To fly freely, like being in a freedom mode. Wow, that's that's good. Okay, let's spread the other half of the pile. I feel like your soul whispers sometimes, like here and now, being the here and now, just be focused here and now, and like you're able to relax and channel and like meditate or whatever. And I feel like it's an important message 
to be in the here and now. Because whenever you feel f、uh, frustrated or anxious or any type of feeling that makes you feel unstable, the here and now assures you that this is the knowledge of your soul. Like, this is the quality of your soul. It knows that when you're here in the now, there's only now, the present moment now. And this way, you're able to achieve and do anything you want in the now without stressing, <laughs> only relaxing and just enjoying. Then we have stars in the sky, limitless possibility. You may truly believe in the core of your soul that possibilities are. Infinite, like there's no such thing as something limited for you. There's only limitless possibility, like the stars in the sky, just being able to be there in the here and now brings you limitless possibilities. You may be a star from the sky, like you may be coming from somewhere very far away, and You have this knowledge of infinity, like infinity, infinity and beyond. Like, what was that? The movie, um, can't remember.、Uh, Avengers, was it? Infinity and beyond, like the infinite of universes and stars and planets, like continuously expanding. And it's like you know this, you have this growth mindset. Like, this is your quality. You keep growing, you keep going, you transform and transform. And I feel that a lot of people admire that. Like, this is not a journey for the weak hearted or, the, or any person that might get upset easily. Like, you don't get upset easily. Even if you do, you're like, use it as. <laughs> Some sort of determination to achieve your goals. That's interesting. I like that. Then we have the Isle of Wonders, Revelation, Teaching, Discovery. I feel that your inner soul, like inside of all this knowledge, this core memory of the soul, it reveals things to you that you might not always know from where, but like then they happen. You're like, how did I know that? And then there's teaching. You may be a teacher, or you like to teach, or you like to, again, take care of people and teach them. You may be someone that likes to teach, that likes to present new perspectives, different perspectives. Like you have an infinity of source inside you. like... Of knowledge and prosperity and abundance, like it's there, I see it. And I feel you are also a protector and you are protected as well. <sighs> But you bless the less fortunate one, whether it's financially or emotionally or some sort of physicality, as in a place, home to live, like you create things for people, you could create content. So that's one of the qualities your soul brought forward into this body, I feel. Then we have,、uh, yeah, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. In, in the Duana, I'm sorry. <laughs> the High Priestess. I'm what with my soul, and my soul is a legacy of love. Like I said, your soul knows exactly. What to bring forward, what to deliver, <laughs> what qualities to embody, what sort of knowledge to bring forward. Then we have victory, 44 in a crown, and Aries as a sign. Then we have leadership. What did I say? That you're a leader. What, what, what did I say? Okay. Then you have, what is that, a magic wand? Broccoli, and Gemini sign, and Crescent Moon. Also Libra. Again, you may be able to balance, but at the same time, you're able to be really playful and airy. And then at the same time, you're able to have this fire and passion. And like this, you have a combination of qualities that 
you, know, you bring forward as a soul. So I feel like you, there's always victory for you, but you're a great leader, and that's that's the soul quality you embody. A soul leader. Hmm. Nice. Now I will uh, pull a few mini cards and hold on. Yeah, a few mini cards. Mm -hmm. Let's bring forward star seeds. Oh, I think that was enough. I don't know why I pulled three. <laughs> it's more than for the other uh, groups. Like, <laughs> the images are all for... Uh, the images are all from um, the galaxy, I guess, the sky. Okay. Dreams, the universe speaks to you through your dreams. You're a dreamer. You're a dream walker. For s you may have dreams and then they come true. Like whatever you dream, you may come true. Then we have Gaia. Connect to the pulse of Mother Earth. She will guide you through this time of change. I feel like one of the things that will come up for you is connecting to earth and mother Gaia and the energy of the earth like before I said that you raise the vibration of the earth like the vibrations of the earth you raise the vibration of people so I feel that once you fully connect to mother Gaia or city nature and connect to her uh, you will have a whole new experience like even more transformation and change and like there's nothing scary about it it's just really beautiful but expect some sort of magic to happen like expect that in your life if you've only done hard work until now go ahead and be that playful child playful inner child that you know how to be and then we have blue star follow the light of your inner compass the blue star it leads you to the truth that resides within your soul well the soul is a great technology and it is a compass in itself therefore that's why therefore that's why yeah great <laughs> it has the core memory of experiences because when we die as a body we just remain with experiences memories and feelings and emotions so whatever you go through make sure you you heal <laughs> you enjoy you laugh you're happy and everything like every little knowledge and detail and memory is in your soul like you open it up boom that's that's what you receive you receive more wisdom, more knowledge. Also, Akashic records. If you've heard of them, maybe you would like to connect to them. Or maybe you wanted to try, I would recommend you do. I have done so myself. So, it's quite a mesmerizing experience, I feel. Okay, let's pull out the other mini cards. We have the wish. Wishcraft, because I have to look at the title, otherwise I don't remember, it's ish. <laughs> what are the messages for pile three? Okay. Pile three. Three.
Okay, so we have magic eggs. Beginning something is exciting, and then the magic potion. I can create magic anytime I wish. You're a great manifester, I think. <sighs> You're just creating. You. I don't know why I saw omelet or like fried eggs and like maybe you may be a cook. I didn't feel that until now, but like you may make magic when you cook. <laughs> And when you, yeah, like even smoothies or things like that, I feel. So if you wanted to begin something and you were like pondering about it, wondering like, should I do it? Go ahead, start, begin. When you begin, everything comes together and everything comes to your aid. So yeah, the soul is magical and really it brings forward anything anything you want you just need to be your be here present in the now and like the only moment is now so yeah then we have the fairy dust okay <laughs> that was fast Okay, so we have family. Wherever you go, whatever you do, your family are here for you. Magic is there when you believe, so dream big things. You can achieve, believe. Okay, so like I said, wherever you go, you, <laughs> you may be a leader. You may find family everywhere you go. It's like everyone that looks up to you, it's like becomes your family. And they're all there for you to support you. And I feel like with the previous cards, if you want to start something, they'll be there to support you. So like, don't be afraid to start and begin and you'll receive the support you want. Just everything that is fear and doubt and anxiety is just in your mind. It's, it's like a defense mechanism. So I feel like you need to share something with your family. Then we have believe. So believe like you would believe in fairies and unicorns. Believe. <laughs> believe in creation. Believe in yourself. Whatever you dream. Whatever your dreams are. You can achieve anything. There's nothing too big. There's nothing too small. You can do anything you want. Okay, pile three. That's it. Uh, I'm glad you were here and I'm glad you listened to this and uh, honestly I may have stumbled my words throughout this whole video but thank you for your patience and if you would like to support me please give a like, share and subscribe because it helps small channel i mean not small channels obviously it's a new channel so it helps the channel grow and helps me and if by any chance you would like to help me even more and pay forward a kindness i will put down links below with go a gofundme page in a paypal you can donate anything literally it's like you would buy water for your friend <laughs> water snack meal whatever you want a coffee i don't drink coffee but if you do like the extra cash that it's there but like you could pay forward a kindness like a I'm gonna be honest, like, I don't like, you know, imposing anything on anyone, but I am asking uh, for support, I guess, because, let's be honest, any artist knows that you ain't eating if you ain't asking, or if you ain't working, or sharing any type of thing, so, okay, that's that, and hopefully I'll be back soon with another video. Please let me know if any of these piles resonated with you. What resonated with you? If you felt anything while uh, listening to these piles, just comment down below what you like. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Thank you and bye.